Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Love and I'm back with another mukbang edition. <laughs> Today we're gonna have some ribeye. Y'all know I like a good ribeye steak. I have some asparagus, my to go. And I have some zucchini over here with a little tagine on it. Amazing. <laughs> Let's see how great we get to eating because I'm starving and I am ready. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food I'm about to receive. In Jesus' name, always. Amen. All right, guys. So I'm back and I miss you guys like crazy. I am back to filming. I'm going to tell you guys all about my trip to Texas. Give you some clips. And we're also going to do a Q&A today because uh, last week I asked you guys on my Instagram. Well, last two weeks I asked you guys on my Instagram. Asked me questions for the Q&A. You guys came through and I have the answers. But I just want to get in at least a bite of this. Now, y'all know by now that I cook all my food that I'm eating. This is really good. This is good. You want some asparagus? Comment down below if you love vegetables like I do. I do. If not even for no reason, I, just, I grew up like that, eating a lot of veggies. If you hear something in the background, it's so funny. You want to stop filming. Anytime you try to do something in life, right? Something trying to stop you. So now, there's some helicopter going around police car. Now I think about it, I should be concerned, right? All this noise. The TV's going in the back. But I'm determined. I'm gonna get this video out. What helped me was my personality. Yes. Who would have known? <laughs> well, let me tell you about Texas. First of all, traveling there wasn't that bad. Um, I hadn't been on a plane, I want to say like 10 years. Last time I took a plane, I went to Florida and I was 25. Wow. So that's. Was that 25? Yeah, it was 25. So. Wow. That's 18 years. That's weird. This is good. And side note, you know what I do with my ribeye? I made some bacon this morning and I saved that grease fry your ribeye in it I'm telling you it will change your life she's got a point now I usually like it more pink but I was setting up so I'm gonna over a little bit but it's still really good and tender all right so flying there I showed you guys in part one it wasn't that bad today I just drink salsa, but so I got the coldest water in the back. I just got water in it. If you want a discount, follow the link in my description box to get a discount on your coldest water products. But I'm know by now you don't hear from everybody and we're telling the truth. This thing keeps your water cold. But that's what I'm drinking. Okay, so Let's get to the good stuff. So I get there, I check in. First of all, I was already comfortable because I've been talking to Mo for some time. We've been in a couple of lives together. I got I got a good rapport about most of the everybody she's around. So I felt comfortable until she hit me up the night before. To make sure I wasn't already in Texas, you know, because then we would have met up. So anyway, I got out there. I checked in. Mm. Now in Texas, it's not like calling an Uber in New York, which I should have known. If you're from New York, you know, you call an Uber. All right, it's here in like 
honestly, if the things say like 10 minutes, we like, wow, what's going on with Uber? Where's this cab is at? Over there, it's a little different. I'm gonna have to wait a minute, so I learned that. But what I did first is I got something to eat, you know, something like, and I had bought me a bottle of like some bubbly champagne or something. Just to cool the nerves and get ready. Me and a friend of mine, we got ready. And we headed over to the venue. The cab dropped us someplace else. Not like someplace far, but like doors behind the venue, like stores down. And now like we know we're going, but listen, we read the the numbers, you know, follow them, what's going up, what's going down. And we got there. Before I can get inside the place, maybe it was outside. I think getting some stuff out the car or whatever. And I hear her say like, hey, Ray. <laughs> I'm like, y'all, what up, Mimi? And she's like, I know them. If I hear anywhere, I'm sure you got something to say about my, um, <laughs> my locks. So we saw her, greet her happy birthday. And she walked us in. Moved at the door. And I'm not even fronting, like, really looking like a G. Like, she looked amazing. She was good. Outfit was on point. Hair was on point. She was about to do with her little um thermometer thing, read everybody. Boop, 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 boop. Making sure nobody had no fevers. And I'm be honest, we had a great time. So, after that, we just started partying. The DJ was on point. It was like a real, for real, it was like great energy. Well, you felt like you could dance with anybody you around. Like, you know, like everybody's there to support and have a good time. A lot of times when you go to a party and things like that, you feel like you gotta watch your bag. You gotta make sure everybody's good. That's not how you felt. It was like family. Plus, I was talking with Mo for so long. That it was just like meeting up with your cousin you ain't seen in a long time. Before I went down there, I already knew that she was going to be doing something for friends and family only. Like something very intimate the next day. And I was invited to that, which I would feel really, um, I was really happy for that. Like, yes, we get to chill. So, I went over to the house the next day. Put a cow over there, went to the house. Beautiful home, beautiful kids. Made me cook for everybody. The food was awesome. I don't know if y'all caught that live. All right, first of all, I had a live. We did do it or drink it. That was just too funny. Like, we either had to do with the car set or we had to drink. If y'all watched that live, I was there drinking my little thought juice. You know, I'm a, I'm a lightweight with drinking, so I drink what? You know what I mean? But I can shake. I wanted to bring a bottle with me, but it was a Sunday. I realized in Texas, they don't start looking on Sundays. I'm not from New York. They start looking from the morning to the night, Monday through Friday. So I was like, like, wow. But... They had like a little space where you can get like wines and things like that. And that was right up my alley, so I was right there. Uh, everybody there was awesome. I don't know what I forgot about. I forgot my napkins. I'll be back. In the snap, I'll be right back. Back with my napkins. So, I'm going to show you guys some clips. First of all, I want to show you how... 
probably right over here somewhere. I'm gonna put how beautiful Mimi look. During the party, like her dress was great. They did like a um uh girls, they did like a change of clothes and they did like came out walking and strutting. It was really cute. DJ was on point. I dance and I don't dance for nothing. Um most of that, like, yo, we seen you over there dancing, but I know what she meant. Like, yeah, I know, because I can't. Whatever. I had a good time. <laughs> At the house, the drunken karaoke is what took me out. First of all, I had to pick a song, right? All right. So I wanted to trade songs. I don't know. You never know when you like, on the spot. That's when you can't pick something. You all over the place like this. I don't know why. Like, and what's crazy is I'm somebody who plays nothing but music. Like, I express myself through music in the house, of course. But every song has a meaning for me. And it's so funny. Um, oh, that's good. It's just so funny that it's the bone. But I couldn't take one. Guys, I legit couldn't think of one. I don't know if you motivated ever been put on a spot and you feel like, but I just couldn't think of one. When I find the old one, we couldn't find it. Mmm. I don't know about y'all, but um. A steak bone? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I don't think I can live without asparagus or steak. I don't know, it's my thing. Especially, I need to be a ribeye. I mean, I could eat all other kind of steaks, but I enjoy a ribeye. So, yeah, so I couldn't think of it. So, I finally, you finally found one. Because, you know, it was hard to find instrumental ones. So, you finally found one. I'm Trey Songs and it was like, can't help but wait. And put the clip in there of me like drinking and thinking I could give it up some kind of way. You, you and him, he ain't right, but you don't trip. You stand by, why he, I mean, I wasn't doing it for real, for real, but I mean, I was damn near trying, though. So we did that. Shout out to Cuzzo AB. You know I didn't forget that. We had a bowl and we chopped it up. There's a lot of, um, I heard everything you said. And I just loved meeting you. Your energy was amazing. And you feel right at home with Cuzzo. And we, we was able to really like chop it up and just be yourself and just relax and I appreciate that. There are like some clips and things I'm not putting in here at all. There's some things I'm just not going to say at all because it was just that kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Um, it was like being with family. So you don't tell everything because of, I appreciate you more than you know. And we had a good time. Okay, so back to Mo House on Sunday and the karaoke. So we do karaoke. I mean, everybody's doing a little dance. I gotta put a clip in here for you. If y'all didn't see Mo live, go over to Mo channel. Look at the live, hilarious. Put a clip in here of Leo. <laughs> that thing, y'all gonna see me in the back. I'm crying. I'm just laughing. I'm literally crying because she is just too funny. I want to say, I saw your video, Mo. Um, I love y'all too. I love being blessed, a part of this squad. I just think it was an awesome time. You know what I'm saying? And we got to know each other really well. And just how each other vibe, how each other chill. And I really appreciate y'all having me out and taking me in as family. Because I saw that. It was like seven of us in there. And I, and I know the people that was around you know for a very long time. So, I mean, I just thought that was really... Um, cool and i felt the same thing and we plan on doing a lot of things together mo is like a cousin that you guys um have and you can call her for whatever and that's just how she is honestly 
So I had a great time. So I want to happy birthday again to you, Mimi. That was good. Mimi is hilarious, okay? Mimi is hilarious, and she's a great host. And number one, two, let me tell you something. When I went to get my food, they're like, there's, there's your food, here's your plate, there's the microwave. You know, you know how family do, you ready? Right? Like, go heat up your stuff, I don't have to. And that made me very comfortable. Once I did that, I came back in there, beep, 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 my mouth was going, blah, 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 blah. That's how I felt. We played so many games. They are just great hostess. I don't know, I forgot the name of the woman that was sitting next to me the entire night, but she is hilarious and her voice, no, her laugh is like contagious. Hilarious, she is so funny. I think she's the one that made me here and I can't get exactly her name, but she is hilarious. Then you had um, some auntie there, they kept saying auntie, auntie, auntie. <laughs> she was really funny. Everybody was very warm and, and endearing. Danae and Leo, y'all are so inviting. And making people feel comfortable being there, especially you, Danae. You are hilarious. Um, Vaughn and Vicky, y'all know I have mad love for Vaughn, and he was just everybody was exactly what they are, and all the time that we've been talking and stuff, it was like you finally get to see each other, and it was perfect because it didn't let you down from like you know feeling uncomfortable or whatever. Like, so I'm ready for the next trip, I know it's coming up soon. My bags will be packed and I'm definitely going. I had a great freaking time. First of all, let's give a let's shine a light on Rasha Swisher and her dance. Let's show that dance that Rasha Swisher was doing. She did a great job. But they did uh first of all, every birthday I sing that like one time for the birthday. That's my song. They did that. We it was just a imagine a group of people with nothing but high energy, no hate, and just loving on each other. That's what it felt like. That's exactly what it felt like. Like, I love Cuzzo and I love Mo. That was amazing. It was amazing. It was real. And it was, like, just real talk. And that's why a lot of things, you know, I'm just not going to say. Because, one, a lot of things I, I may have discussed, let's say, with Cuzzo. We spent hours together, you know, everybody chilling and stuff. I just liked it just like that. Our, our, when we initially met, okay, I will give that, that sh I heard somebody say, um, hey, pretty girl, can I get your autograph? And I was like, who the fuck is that? And I look up and it's her. So I had a freak out moment, you know, for some reason with Cuzzo. Mo, I already knew. It was like, I, I literally, like, I felt like I was going to go see my family. We kind of know I had a little bit of a freak out moment. <laughs> um, and I recorded that for myself. But after that, it was just blah, 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 and talking about many different things. And she gave great advice and um, just was herself. And we all have something in common. I mean, I think y'all know what that is. And you know, you got to stick together. And I thought that was beautiful. And that's what I felt. And I think that's the end of my recap. That is the end of my recap. Now, Rasta Switch had great party gifts. Okay, you left with like, there was these things and they all wrapped in like her face and it says happy birthday. So we got to leave with like, I, when I came home is when I opened them. So I saw like chips and it was candy. It was a watermelon airhead. I never knew I liked that when I ate it. And it was actually really good. You left with um, like roll-ups that say like Swisher Sweets. I thought that was really funny. I thought that was really cute. I mean, I just had a great time. And that's going to be with me until the next time. That's just how I'm going to do. Now, let's get into this Q&A. I wrote them down. Because there was a lot of questions. And I'm using my phone to record. So I couldn't skim through the um, screenshots. So we're going to go through this Q&A. Let's put this. Should I make the Q&A another video? It is vlog. It is vlogtober, guys. It's Vlogtober. I think I'll make the Q&A another video. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. Let me just show you guys a new addition to the family. Now, I finished eating, so don't, don't even say anything. Look at... This is Campbell. Say hi, Campbell. Say hi. Say hi to the people. This is my new kitten. Y'all know you can't be a lesbian unless you have. I have mad cats right now, so. Wait. She said, I'm number three, but she's the littlest. Say hi. It's 
say hi motivators if y'all saw my short then you guys seen her i love how she had that little don't she look like a little like elvira you see guys she got the white right here but she she like brown all the way around and the white underbelly <laughs> she's new she's a good cat you gonna say bye bye no she want to get to the food you can't get to that food that's not for you you don't eat that kind of food. all right guys i'm gonna do the q a i'm gonna do it as a second video i'm drop both of them today say bye campbell say bye bye say bye bye all right guys so Stay tuned for the next video where we're doing Q&A, get to know me, and you guys have some pretty funny questions and some good ones at that. So, until we eat again, guys. Bye.